Hello and welcome to bmclounge.com. This is Lounge Fever, a series of videos dedicated to answering your questions. Now, recently we covered a video and an article on the types of power, the different types of power as defined by French and Raven. So there are five types of power defined by French and Raven. And first link in the description will take you directly to that video. So which type of power or which form of power should you be using? That's something we are trying to understand in this video. So let's get started. All right, so let's quickly touch upon these five different types of power and then decide which one or which ones you should be using at all times. Legitimate power. So if you are a project manager in a projectized environment, or if you are, let's say, a functional manager, if people report to you, whether you like it or not, you are actually using this power. You are the legitimate boss here. You are the legitimate manager here. So people will do whatever you tell them to do. So whether you like it or not, you are actually using this power and you don't have to do anything extra to use this power. Second is punishment power. So this can definitely be very demotivating and embarrassing for the person who is being punished. Um, this is not a kind of power that you should be looking forward to using. But I'd also like to mention this is not something which can be avoided at all times. There will be situations when you have to use coercive power and it is important to do it in a one-on-one -on -one in a private you don't have to embarrass someone in front of the other team members so this is definitely something that is uh, best kept in a private conversation also you should try to focus on correcting the issue rather than you know using this power as a means of showing someone their place right so this is definitely a power that you should not look forward to using Definitely not a power that is recommended to be used. Number three is referent power. So the fact that when you like someone or someone likes you, it is much easier for you to influence them. That's the whole idea behind referent power. So should you use it? Of course, if you can influence people, then definitely you can use referent power. But then this is not something which is usable at all times against all people or with all people not necessarily against someone but this is not a type of power that you will necessarily have with you at all times to be used with all team members so that's something that you should uh, think about expert power so people naturally follow leadership from someone they respect Obviously, this gets a big thumbs up at in all situations at all times. If you are an expert, nothing like it. People are naturally going to follow you. This is a type of power that you should look forward to use. This is a type of characteristic that you should try to improve, become an expert in your field. This is something that is definitely going to earn a lot of respect from your team members and that is why this is the type of power that you should look forward to using and finally reward power if you can reward people if you can give them financial benefits if you can uh, give them goodies why not rewards help people motivate themselves you don't have to do anything if you're giving them rewards they will motivate themselves and they'll do the job so i think expert power and reward power are the two types of power that you should definitely look forward to using at all times punishment power is something you should avoid at all times referent power is something if you're charismatic if you can use it go ahead use it legitimate power you'll never know uh, just because you are the manager right whether you know it or not you might be using this power so this is not something that you should look forward to using but is definitely in play here so i hope that answers the question expert power and reward power are the two types of power that you should look forward to using at all times
before we close the video i'd quickly like to remind you head over to pmclounge.com slash pmp training this is where we have listed all the articles and videos of the pmp courseware so do check it out everything is free so that is all that we had in this video smash that like button if you got value out of it we are actually closing on the resource management knowledge area if you have any questions drop them in the comments if they are good enough if they are going to help others as well we are going to create a video on it too subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified and don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com your number one free pmp resource thank you